Yes. So this uh, video is about circumference and areas of circles. So uh, by the end of this, uh, you're going to be able to find and use the circumference and area of circles and apply it to real world situations. So um, where someone is running around a circular track or if you have to find the area of a disk or something like that. First step is uh, to review some vocab that you probably already know, I just want to make sure everyone does. So the diameter of the circle is the segment that goes across the circle. Uh, through the center. So it's this big long line here. So this is the diameter. Okay, so it goes through the center all the way through. The radius um, goes from the center to the outside of the circle. So this is my radius. So the trick with the radius and the diameter, if this is let's say 5 inches, well the diameter is 10 inches. So uh, the diameter is always double the radius, or the radius is always half of the diameter. So, if we go to our next, now the first step I give you the diameter of the circle, you have to find the radius. So, if the diameter, or D, is 6 inches, well, R has to be 3 inches. You just divide by 2. If the diameter is 24 centimeters, the radius has to be 12 centimeters. Same thing with the radius. The radius of the circle is 11 centimeters, the diameter has to be 22 centimeters. The radius is 8 feet, the diameter is 16 feet. So it just depends on how you're, you, what information you're given and um, how it's written. So next we have to talk about circumference. Circumference is like the perimeter of a circle. So, so uh, circumference has a different name than perimeter because circumference, circum, means around. Okay, every time you hear the prefix circum, uh, it means around. So this literally means the distance around a circle. It's like if you take a string and you wrap it around uh, a circular object that, and then hold it up. That string is going to be your circumference. Um, to find the circumference, we use a formula. Okay, it's c equals 2 pi r. So 2 pi r means 2 times pi times r, uh, where r is the radius. Pi, you might remember, is approximately, and we say approximately because pi is an irrational number, so the decimal places go on forever, uh, 3.14, and you can hit the pi button on your calculator, and it gives you, uh, I think, about 9 decimal places. But to find the circumference, all I'm going to do, you notice that it's going from the center to the outside, so that's my radius. So all I'm going to do is 2 times pi times 13. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can plug it all into your calculator, or you can convert 2 times 3.14 times 13. Um, either way, you're going to get approximately the same number. But the problem is, there's a pi button on your calculator. So if you use the pi button versus 3.14, the pi button on the calculator is going to give you a different answer because it's using more decimal places. Is it wrong? No. Um, you just have to uh, be around the correct answer. I always use the pi button uh, because I like to use that. I like to use more decimal places. So I would get... 81.68. If I use 3.14, 2 times 3.14 times 13, I would get 81.64.
Do you notice that they're approximately the same? The pi button was a little bit higher. Are they wrong? No, they're exactly the same. Answer, um, it just depends on the decimal places you use when you multiply. Um, so either answer is correct as long as you are around the 81.6 mark or the 81.7 mark. Okay, so I have you round to the nearest tenth of a unit, which means one decimal place, because the ten has one zero, so the tenth is one decimal place. So in this case, we're just finding the circumference. So it's two pi times three. Okay, uh, two pi times three, two times pi times three is approximately 18.8 oh I always have to have units well I didn't talk about that circumference is the distance around a figure it replaces uh, perimeter so perimeter is always in units it's feet inches you know you're walking around something so in this case, it would have been 81.64 centimeters. In this case, I don't have units, so I'm just going to say 18.8 units. In this case, number two, I'm given that whole line is 10. So my radius is 5. So I'm going to do my circumference is 2 pi times 5, which comes out to be approximately 31.4 units. So that's my circumference around the circle. And I would just continue that for both of these problems. The trick with this is sometimes I'm given the circumference. C equals, okay? So in this formula, C equals 2 pi r. The question is asking me, find the diameter and the radius. Okay, so now you have to look at what the question is asking me. So I know C is 40, so I'm going to plug that in. What oftentimes students have trouble with is pi, it's a symbol, but it's also a number. So you can actually work with it. So 2 times pi is approximately 6.28. It's a number. I can multiply it. Now, if I'm solving for r, I divide by 6.28. I get 40 divided by 6.28, grand total of 6.37 is my r. That's my radius. So what's my diameter? I just double it times 2. Okay? I should get 12.37. 7.4 is my D. Okay. The other way of doing it is, again, plugging this in. See, my C is 256. So I'm going to say um, 256 equals 2 pi r. Well, instead of dividing by 6.28 and have those numbers, I'm going to divide by 2 pi. Well, I can do that on my calculator. But the trick is, I have to put this in parentheses, because I need to do the 2 times the pi first, and then do the division. So I'm going to type in 256 divided by parentheses 2 pi. And I would get 40.7 feet. To get my diameter, I'm going to double it. I'm going to get 81.4. So either way, you're going to get the same answer. You just have to remember, if you use the pi button, I'm going to have to put the parentheses there so that uh, PEMDAS works. So I would follow the same process for 3 and 4 here. The area of a circle is a, a formula that often people remember in um, coming out of geometry. Is my area equals pi r squared. Now what you have to remember is r squared means that it's r my radius times my radius. Ok? 
okay? Uh, something squared is always times itself, okay? But it's r squared, not pi. So using PEMDAS, I have to square my, my radius and then multiply by pi. So in this case, my area is going to be pi times 11 squared. I can plug it all into the calculator and solve that. Or I can say my area is pi times 121. And that, this is where a lot of students get mixed up. Show you use the pi button, show you use 3.14. It doesn't matter. Again, we're going to um, round these to the nearest tenth. So as long as you're around my answer, you're going to be fine. I'm going to do pi times 121, grand total of 380.1 meters square because now I'm dealing with area okay so again using the same uh, figures from before my area is going to be pi times 3 squared 3 times 3 is 9 pi oh I can write it like that too okay that this is what we call my exact answer but I can do 9 times 9 times pi get a grand total of 28 0.27 units squared. And again, this right here is my uh, diameter. So my radius is 5. So my area is pi times 5 squared. So this is 25 pi, which grand total of 78. five units squared. So that's how I find the area. And I have to remember to square first and then uh, multiply by pi. The next couple problems are all about just practicing those skills. On the back are word problems. So the word problems either are going to be dealing with circumference or they're going to be dealing with area. So the trick is um, to figure out from the wording uh, what to do. So Herman purchased a sundial to use as a centerpiece for his garden. The diameter of the sundial is 9.5 inches. So I don't care about his garden. I care about the diameter is 9.5 inches. So part A says, OK, what's the radius? Well. If D is 9.5, then R equals 9.5 divided by 2, grand total of 4.75 inches. Now, part B asks me, find the circumference of the sundial to the nearest hundred. So, circumference, I have to remember the formula every time you hear the word. 2 times pi times R. So this is 2 times pi times 4.5, grand total of 28.27 inches. While in the next one, the new irrigation system has been installed. I don't care about irrigation systems. Each irrigation arm covers a circular region with a radius of 35 feet. Radius of 35 feet. How many square feet will four irrigation arms cover? So the trick with this is, again, that square feet, I'm talking area. So area equals pi r squared. Well, I know that my radius is 35. So 35 squared, grand total of 1,225 pi, or if I multiply that out, it's 3,848.45 feet squared. But what is my question asking me? My question is asking me, how many square feet will four of these irrigation arms uh, cover? So I have to take this, and I have to do it four times. Or, I'm just going to say times 4, and I'm going to get a total area of 
15,393.8 feet squared. So you have to just remember if we're dealing with distance around or with square units, which formula to use. Uh, and those are the key terms. Please complete the rest of these practice problems and come in with any questions that you have. Thank you.